Okay, now I believe that we are going to have to get to Diamond City in order to unglitch um, Piper and Nick Valentine. <laughs> so, just going to head that way. I wonder if we could follow that thing all the way to the airport. Probably. It probably does go all the way. Oh, God! What that? Oh! Huh! <laughs> Just ran right up on me! <laughs> okay, now I'm not 100% sure where Diamond City is um, in relation to everything. I think it's just right there. We're headed in the... in the um, basic location. So we'll just go with that. I am curious now if we could actually just follow that all the way to the airport. I have a feeling that most likely what it is is that is a stripped down version of the Pridwin. And then so that way it can actually fly across without killing your frame rates. And then when it gets to the airport, it will fade away in favor of like changing the cell that the Pridwin should be in, and the high quality Pridwin will fade in as this low quality Pridwin fades out. Yes, if that made any sense whatsoever, I don't know. If you're a programmer, uh, that probably made a little bit of sense. Um, if you're not, then uh, tough. <laughs> This is not the same bridge that we came across. On our way to oh, Frick. That guy, that guy's just a chems vendor. All right, I'm just going to let the Pridwin go. We're not we're not going to chase it all the way to the airport. This stuff apparently does not belong to him. Oh. Yeah, now we're going to be seeing those things all over the place. I still think it's a bum deal that we don't get to actually fly one of those ourselves. What? Yeah. What? What? What is what is happening? Why are they why are they hostile? What? What? Wait. Is that I'm confused. What just happened? Yeah, what just happened? Why Why are they... Are they shooting me? What the heck did I do to you? They are, they are shooting us. It's a gunner. Oh my god, it's a gunner. Oh my god. It's not Brotherhood of Steel. What? What? I didn't even know that was possible! Oh, we're out of ammo! No! No! Oh, there he goes! There he goes! Wow. Oh, they're still attacking us. What is happening? Where are all these gunners coming from? Oh my gosh. Okay, this, um, oh my gosh. What the? 
Hey, now he has some cover. He has a vertebrate wing that he can sleep under now. You're welcome. You're welcome for helping you with that. Oh, you can just you can just walk through it. Excuse me. He's just going to stand right up in it. <laughs> Whoa. Is it morning already? I got chems for sale. If that's what you're looking for. Actually, I think it's afternoon. It could be morning. I don't know. Let's see what you got. All right. Check it out. Okay, so we basically just um, sold garbage to get his caps. Wow, that wreckage just went everywhere, didn't it? Did we get all of the uh, gunners? Oh my god, I didn't even know that was possible that the gunners had vertebrates also. I thought that I thought that only the Brotherhood of Steel had vertebrates. What is this? Is this something? Operations. Come on. Let's hear the whole story. Oh, I forgot she's still broken. We really need to get back to Diamond City to unbreak her. <sighs> What even is this? This is just a little closet on the oh, side classic. of a dam. What is there's something down here? Seriously, Kenobi? Get out of the freaking way. Reactor level. The whole story. Oh God, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill her myself if she keeps asking me about this, telling me the whole story. What is this stuff? Ham radio. Oh god, now we have a whole new class of radio to turn off. <laughs> Danger, radioactive materials. There doesn't seem to be anything radioactive. Oh, there's another room. Never mind. Never mind! Oh yeah, that does look radioactive. Hear the whole story. I have a feeling that we're going to hear that little line of dialogue uh, just thousands of times before we get back to Diamond City. Let's hear the whole story. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Got it. Let's hear the whole story. Come on. Let's hear the whole story. All right, I, I'm i just going to mute. Um, every time she says that, I'm just going to mute it. <laughs> because... Damn, that's irritating. Hey, what's up? You want through, you gotta pay. Hundred caps. Come on. Do I look like I can afford that? How about... 75? Be reasonable. 50. Final offer. Last chance. Give me a fair deal, and no one gets hurt. God! You're... You know what? Just go already. This ain't worth my time. That's weird. These are raiders, and we can just talk to them. What do these ones say? Anything? Hi. Get out of here. Excuse me. Keep moving. Excuse me. Get going. I'm afraid I can't just let you live. Because you will probably pull this scam on somebody else. So... <laughs> oh, that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, now let's keep going. I'm I'm basically just backtracking. 
so that we're going uh, back the way that we came from Diamond City so that we can get back to Diamond City because I'm not really sure where it is and I really want to get hyper fixed. I hear gunshots and I'm just I just don't even care. I don't care. We're not falling for it. We're not we're not falling for your not again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And all that kind of stuff. And we have lost Piper, but I'm hope I'm hoping that once we get to Piper's office, that everything will right itself. All right, so hopefully Nick is at public occurrences. I see you got your gravity problem sorted out. That's good. Sneaky Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my baby, but that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Alright, I figure, um, let's just keep 
You sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Yes, I do. Let's just keep um, Kenobi and one companion. When we start getting too many companions, it's just they all want to talk and it just gets. I, uh, I have uh, I have enough voices in my head already. I don't need I don't need that many external voices going at the same time. Oh, it's not a it's not a pretty picture. All right. Um, you don't you don't need any of this stuff, right, Piper? Well, You're... If anyone could figure out a good use for it. That's right. If anyone could. It's you and me, babe. You and me. All right, now I feel like we can, now that she's fixed and everything is, everything is calmed down, now I feel like we can just go uh, explore a little bit. Um, you smoke? Oh, I didn't realize you smoked. Uh, maybe I don't want her with me. She's gonna, she's gonna smell like an ashtray everywhere she goes. All right, let's get out of here. All right, now. Here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Yeah, sure, Nat. If I remember correctly, there is a house here that we can buy. I wonder if we have enough money for it. Actually, I don't even care if we have enough money for it. If we can buy it, I'm gonna buy it. Even if I have to just, you know, because we're modding, we're just we're just getting it done. So, yeah, that's that's what's happening. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure we do have quite a bit of money at this point because we've done a lot of little side quests and things. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Okay, so we had enough caps for it, and let's go check it out and decorate it. Solomon, oh. got anything to help me, you know, impress someone? Here we go. Your hand at the game of love? Okay, so I will. Huh, I don't think we actually came in here the last time. Um. last playthrough so what I will do is I will make a I will clean up everything that's here first of all and then I'll just decorate a little bit so we have something and like a bed or something so we can sleep and that kind of stuff and then we'll come right back Hoping that the NPCs don't knock over my decorations. Um, but here's the front room. When you first come in, got a little place to sit. Stereo. Another place to sit. Got some, some stuff that's happening. We've been drinking and eating, apparently. I'm sure that's going to get knocked over right away. And here we have crafting. So we have our cooking stove, chemistry, weapons, armor, and just some more decorations, just just to give the impression that the place is lived in. And then up here, 
We have a dresser for our, I don't know, pajamas, I guess. <laughs> and somebody who likes to watch can watch us change into our pajamas. <laughs> and then we come up here and, um, yeah, this is where the magic happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we have an escape route just just because, I guess. Um, it's built in. There was a giant thing of fog right here, but I used a console command to get rid of that because it was annoying. <laughs> and yeah, so that's home plate in Diamond City. All right, I like this place. It's got three different ways in or out. <laughs> this place was very, very, very dark. So the first thing I had to do was I just put lights everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, um, I have no idea what time it is, so we're going to go sleep until morning, and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, um, interesting. We didn't get the perk for sleeping in our own bed. Um, that's okay. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> There's even a little doggo house for Kenobi. <laughs> All right, let's um, gosh, what are we going to do now? Uh, we had like a goal, so let's check our quest log and see what we have next. OK, now, as I recall, if we go to the combat zone, um, we can pick up another companion there. So I want to do that. Plus, we need to pick up the latest edition of the newspaper, although I don't see Nat out. She's falling down on the job. Can I just pick one up? I don't know if that counted towards the quest or not. But we are going to go get Kate. Okay, now I have pulled up the marker on the map. So it's down. I guess it was sort of close to Nick Valentine. If we had only known, we could have done both at the same time. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, we need to head towards um, the good neighbor so that we can talk to Dr. Amari at some point. Oh, there's somebody right there. Isn't there. Are you friendly? Let's bat some. They are not friendly. Wow, they're only a level one. Is that why things are dying so easily? Because they're such low level? Uh, of course, it helps if you can actually aim at the damn thing. Stand still so I can shoot you. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. Why am I so terrible at aiming at things? So I wonder where we have to get to to start getting some higher level bad guys, because these guys were level one, according to Vats, anyway. It's no wonder we're killing them so easily. I mean, I think I think we're right around level 16 and they're level one. But 
What is all this stuff? Dart mouth? Dart mouth? Dart mouth. That's weird. That's a weird word. Dart mouth. Dart mouth? Dart mouth. I don't know. You you decide. It's either dart mouth or dart mouth. <laughs> I don't see anything. All right, let's go up. <laughs> There's like a, a chalk line on the floor for some reason. Were they... That's weird. Why was there why is there a line on that? Now I'm curious. What was happening that was it these two people? You stay on your side of the of the house building thing and I'll stay on my side. There's a bed over there, there's a bed over here. It looks like she got the larger half though. <laughs> Isn't that typical? <laughs> she got the lar the larger side and she got the door. Um, of course, she probably got killed first then, because the door. Wow, that's that's it. That's it's just this tiny little thing. I don't know if these are cool or disappointing because it's kind of neat that there's these random little things, but it's disappointing that this this is it. It's just a little closet, basically. Hey, defiler. Oh. Oh God, those are Child of Adam. No! No! And they must be not level one because they're taking a lot of bullets. Oh my god! Oh, there's still more. There is still another one somewhere. Get him, Kenobi! Get him! There's still more things happening. Piper picked up a... some sort of weapon from those children of Adam. Get him, Kenobi! Get him! Get him! Okay, these are definitely not level one! Kiss it all goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. What kind of weapon is Piper using there? Now she'll get up like Kenobi does, right? Yeah, her health is going up. Oh my god, look at how much friggin' radiation we have! What the... Holy... Okay, let's just get rid of that. Will one do the whole trick? Yes. Oh my goodness! I hope you enjoyed Fallout 4, Broken Valentine. Nick Valentine broke so hard he even infected Piper with his brokenness. Brokenness? Brokenness, yes. Nothing a visit to Diamond City couldn't fix. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to tickle the like button, subscribe if you'd like to see more dashingly digital videos, drop any comments or suggestions down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Dashpot out.